plus our parents of the week. Imagine it's the 1940s and you're black and you're poor and you have six daughters. Your dream? That they all become doctors. The greatest gift I receive from my parents is the gift to keep going, the gift to be persistent and never give up. Never, never give up. It's a story you won't forget. Coming up next, our Parents of the Week find out how six daughters of a ditch digger graduated college and went on to live the American dream. We'll be back. Every Friday all this year, we're celebrating parents who do a great job. This week, our parents of the week are Donald and Tass Thornton. They raised six daughters at a time when young women, particularly young black women, were not encouraged to dream the big dreams. But that didn't stop the Thorntons. This couple, who worked as a ditch digger and a domestic, knew that their girls would make it. Today, thanks to their persistence, the Thornton sisters number among themselves two doctors, one dentist, one lawyer, and a nurse. And today, one of the daughters says thank you. Attention, please, paging Dr. Thornton to the nurse's station, Dr. Thornton to the nurse's station. These are the words that Tass and Donald Thornton fought all their lives to hear. Dr. Thornton, your life, please. My dad's specific dream was for us to be all doctors. He knew that if you could heal somebody, it wouldn't make any difference what color you were, what gender you were, you would be okay. You could, you could stand and be on equal terms with anybody. And so, therefore, the only thing that came to his mind was be a doctor. That was a brave goal for a black couple raising six girls in the 1940s and 50s. But Donald Thornton, factory worker, ditch digger, high school dropout, was above all else determined. The concerns with dad was that if you can't get in through the front door, because front doors are going to be slammed in your face, don't give up. Just be persistent. Go around the back. You can get in if you keep trying. The Thornton girls knew what trying meant. They watched their parents build this house brick by brick so their daughters could live near a better school. My mom, every time we got a high school diploma, all of us, she would put them on the wall and she would say, see kids, you got the diploma. I didn't get my diploma and that's why I had to scrub people's floors. The Thorntons kept on studying. Earning money was a tougher problem until the girls discovered the saxophone. With mom as bass player, dad as manager, the Thornton sisters appeared on television shows and in clubs. Soon, they spent every weekend playing at colleges. But through it all, the family kept their eyes on the prize, becoming doctors. When you look back, you say, oh my God, how did they do all this? But I look and I see my mom's and dad's eyes, and you know, you see their hope, and I say, well, I gotta do it, I have to do it. In 1973, Yvonne graduated from medical school, the first of three Dr. Thorntons. Dad came to the hospital one day, and he asked me, Paige, your name, and he just, said, isn't that the most beautiful sound you've ever heard? Better than the sound coming from a saxophone? To inspire others, Dr. Thornton, now a mother of two, recently published a book honoring her parents. After I wrote the book, and I placed the book right between their tombstones. And I just looked and I said, you know, that's where it should be because we are the ditch diggers daughters i would say to my mom and dad only three words and that is i love you thank you dr thornton for sharing your parents story there are parents of the week